Ben Affleck is doing well after his relapse, he's taking his sobriety very seriously. Ben Affleck recently spent Thanksgiving with his ex wife Jennifer Garner and their three kids Violet, Serafina, and Samuel. Ben Affleck, 47, is read to stay sober. Ben's doing well and looking great after the relapse, a source close to the actor confirms to Hollywood Life exclusively. He's taking his sobriety very seriously. Ben made headlines after he was spotted looking inebriated on Saturday, October 26 at the UNICEF Masquerade Ball in West Hollywood. In a video captured by TMZ, the actor, who was wearing a wearing a suit and a skull mask, appeared to be stumbling outside of the party as he was helped by a female friend. While the night out could be perceived as an innocent night of fun, Ben's history with alcoholism is concerning, especially after the actor's 2018 trip to rehab. Since the incident, Ben has been regularly spending time with ex-wife Jennifer Garner, 47, and their three kids Violet, 14, Serafina, 10 and Samuel, 7. Ben and Jen have worked really hard to co-parent well, the insider continued. They spent Thanksgiving together for the kids' sake. It was a no-brainer for them and the kids were happy about it. It's just their way of life and it works for them. They'll always put them first. The day was great and it was a nice holiday. Ben and Jen could write the book on co-parenting, as the pair regularly attending 10-year-old Serafina's soccer games and share the responsibility of picking up the kids from school. The pair, who married back in 2005, announced their separation in June 2015 after a decade of marriage. They eventually filed for divorce in 2017, and finalized the process last year. It happens, it's a slip. But I'm not going to let it derail me, Ben later said of his incident at the Halloween party. He didn't appear to have a rough recovery, as he was right back at his doting dad duties as he helped the kids decorate Jen's house for the holiday the next morning. Matt Damon is seen leaving his old pal Ben Affleck's house. A day after Ben's explosive argument with ex-wife Jennifer Garner. They're set to reunite on screen in the upcoming medieval drama The Last Duel. Matt Damon, 49, looked as if he might have been working on a film collaboration as he was seen leaving his childhood friend Ben Affleck's house in Los Angeles' Brentwood neighborhood on Saturday. The weekend visit came a day after Ben, 47, had a serious argument with his ex-wife Jennifer Garner. 47. Matt was bundled up on the overcast, damp day with a black down vest over a black sweater. He paired them with black jeans and rugged black shoes and a black New England Patriots beanie. Matt may have been doing some work with Ben as he was carrying multiple stacks of clipped together paper which resembled screenplays or scripts, as well as a small notebook. This marks the second visit in two days after Matt stopped by the house on Friday as well. The clipped together pages suggest Matt and Ben might be working on their roles for the upcoming historical drama The Last Duel, to bed directed by Ridley Scott. The film was written by the two actors, along with enough said director Nicole Holofcener. Based on the book of the same title by Eric Yeager, the movie will depict the last officially sanctioned judicial duel, a battle to the death between two parties that took the place of a legal trial. The real-life event concerned a knight who claimed his squire had raped his wife and requested a trial by combat. The Good Will Hunting stars were originally expected to play the friends torn asunder by the duel, though Ben later stepped back into a supporting role due to conflicts with his previously scheduled thriller Deep Water with Knives Out star Anida or Moss. The last duel is the fourth screenplay for Matt and the sixth for Ben as well as their first writing collaboration since the 1997 film that earned the Oscars for screenwriting, and made Ben the youngest ever screenwriter to win the award. Ben's Thanksgiving weekend was devoted to spending family time with his children Violent, 13, Serafina, 10, and Samuel, 7, along with his ex Jennifer Garner. The whole family, joined by his mother Christine Ann Bolt, were seen going to the movies on Wednesday and they celebrated Thanksgiving together as a family. Ben was also with the family on Black Friday, but he and the alias star seemed to have a falling out after they were seen arguing outside the house while Ben flapped his arms around. According to sources, 
Jennifer drove her ex to a remote hotel near Santa Barbara and was on a Range Rover after the fight. Matt can currently been seen opposite Christian Bale in the racing drama Ford v Ferrari, set at the 24 Hours of Le Mans, the oldest currently running endurance race in the world. The movie has been a critical and commercial success so far, garnering a sterling 91% fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes and exceeding box office expectations in its opening weekend. Absent from his work trips to Ben's place was Matt's wife Luciana Barroso. The two met in Miami in 2003 while her future husband was filming the absurd comedy Stuck on You. They were engaged in September 2005 and were married in December 2005. The couple share a stepdaughter Alexia Barroso, 20, from Luciana's previous marriage, along with three daughters from their own union, Isabella, 13, Gia, 11, and Stella, 9.